Hey everybody, Matt Waxler here from Wheels Through Time. We're down in Daytona, Florida at the Antique Motorcycle Swap Meet in New Smyrna, Florida, and actually have been digging for motorcycle parts. We've just been here about 15 minutes. We're gonna roam around uh, and see what we can find. This place is all about old American motorcycle stuff. Knucklehead parts, flathead parts, panhead, shovelhead, you name it, all the way back to the teens. I think up through maybe the 1980s. It's gotta be 35 years or older uh, to be here at the swap meet. So tons of vendors from all over the country. Uh, it's one of the places that my dad and I have always come uh, to find our wares for the old bike so you never know what you're going to find maybe you find a, some old wheels some gas tanks maybe a whole motorcycle project uh looks like there's a couple hundred vendors set up over maybe 20 acres or so so we're going to get out here have some fun see what we can find little bits Every bike's got a ton of them on there. Compression releases for JD stuff. These are getting tough to find. Generator gear looks perfect. Kickstand spring, rear brake clevis. And all those parts in the restoration shop, I don't have one rear brake clevis, so this will be uh, going on a knucklehead soon. More parts I don't need, but that's okay. Early knucklehead clutch stuff, the two hardest parts to find. Usually you replace that fiber there, this one's loose and wobbling off, but bearings, spacers, all there, the spline looks nice. This is actually the hardest part of that early clutch to find. 50 bucks for the two of them. Sounds good, bro. All right. Yeah, take care. Amazing. It's the little things, you know? Ichiro! How are you? What's up, man? Nice to see you. Hey, look, I seen your RL over there. Oh, yeah. You want to show it to me real quick? Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. we look at it? <laughs> All right, guys, this is Ichiro. Ichiro, you've been, you've been hanging out with my dad since, what, like the 90s, right? Not 20, the, the, the 2000s. 2000s? Uh, you yeah. came in Mount Vernon and yeah. used to work back there. And mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, little time. <laughs> awesome. My dad would help I or yeah. Ichiro would help my dad in the shop all the time and came to Maggie Valley lots of times. And yeah. so the bike we're looking at, guys, is actually one of my dad got bought this bike in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. This is one of George Swims. You guys heard me mention George Swim, Energy Illinois with Harley Davidson dealers, Star Egypt Motorcycle Club founder. Uh, George was Jack Pine racer extraordinaire, had all sorts of cool stuff. My dad bought a huge pile from George back in the 1980s, something like maybe 50 bikes, a warehouse full of old motorcycle parts. This bike was in the pile and we decided to let it go about a year ago and Ichiro bought it. Bike had never run, we think. So did yeah. We don't even know George finished it. I don't think so. I don't even think he finished yeah, it. He was just ah, Yeah, I so think. Ichiro and our buddy Gus got this thing finished and running and racing. You yeah. said you raced it last year? Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man, I love it. So you're gonna let me ride it? Yeah. All right, so, so check it out, guys. The other side is what really shows you what's up. This is a, a special motor. Harley even never made this. Check it out, guys. What we're looking at is it's an RL bottom end. So they made the RL lower end from 1932 to 36. 45 cubic inch flat head lower end. So four cams, total loss oil system, early style oil pump. It just feeds it down there, timer right over here. But what's really cool about this engine is it's been fitted with a KH, a K, a K top yeah, end. So this is a 52 to 56 uh, top end. Breathes a ton better. This top end is, is, you know, if you look at the inside, you pull the head off and you look at the inside of the combustion chamber, it's just a lot more conducive to high airflow than the Harley WL and, and RL and DL stuff was. So how's it run? Good. Yeah, I bet it sounds amazing with yeah. those pipes. So what do I do? Just it's, it's ele electric ignition. Where's yeah, it? Where's key at? Side. Keys on that side. Okay, yeah. so a couple primes. Yeah. Key on and go. Yeah. All right, rock and roll. And it's hand clutch. Yeah. So it gas is on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it kicks nice. Two, three, three yeah. kicks. And, uh, and then the ignition. Retard? Or is it Nothing. fixed? Yeah, fixed. <laughs>
fun is that? Check this thing out guys, this is Frank Westfall's Mini Super X, it's a little like circus clown bike, I don't know if a bear rode it, a little person rode it or what, but Frank's been riding this thing around swap meet since I was a tiny kid. This thing is so cool, it's like an absolutely shrunk down Super X, so Super X is Excelsior. Uh, 1925 to 1931, they made 45 cubic inch uh, Super X unit construction transmissions, pocket valve. Uh, this thing's been cut down, shortened, little baby eight inch wheels on here, gas tank's been shrunk. Uh, Frank's done the field games on this thing, rode it swap meets for 20 plus years, always super cool to see it here. Runs as good as it looks. Now we've got one like this at the museum, but it's a Harley. A DL, it's a project, it's one we're going to get uh, hopefully to working on in the shop in the next year or so. So uh, we'll be sure and bring you uh, up to date on how that's going, remind you of Frank's bike. Maybe one day we'll even get out and race with Frank on this thing. So I've had that since 2005. Since 05? Awesome. Yep. When um, Katrina hit, we lost one third of our dollar value to gas in 12 hours. You know, driving at uh, that weekend of, you know, the Wednesday it started of Davenport, you know. And we get there, because we drove, it's like we couldn't drive west fast enough to get the, this kind of gas, you know, it just kept going sky rocking. And I just, we get there, and you better spend your money wisely, you know. So this, on the sidelines, I first saw it of four, okay? It was missing exhaust system, oil tank, seat, carburetor, magneto. I think that's about it. And. I had everything. You had everything for it. Carter, new old stock in the box. You know, the, also the little. Is that a step Carter up. carburetor on there? Yeah. yeah. That's a yes. rare carburetor. It's got a brass bolt. Yeah, right. You it's know, just so had the flip up with the right, screen. Right, 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 yeah. right. But you know, I mean, and then the little up, you know, the for the low frame, wow. the little step up. I've got that on there. We once I got pictures of it from 1938 with three different kids around it. Three different pictures with three different kids. There, thank you, Rocco. You know, I mean, it's documentation. I mean, that's all long. It was, this was a father's love for his three kids, I take. Wow, that's a dangerous bike for little kids, man. I think it's oh, got a lot of power. Dude, it's a pisser. I love it. Well, it's been a fixture at Swap Meet since I've been little. You know, I remember we 2005, seeing, huh? 2005, yeah, so I was maybe not little, 20, 20 24. Wow, what a deal, man. You gonna fire it up? Well, you're here filming, aren't oh, you? Oh, man, awesome. All right. one of the characters at the AMCA. You'd never meet a personality like him. Man, that looks as sketchy as they come. Retarded? What do you get on this bobber fender over here? Would you do two for it? Yeah, I'll do two and a quarter for it. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Thank um, you. Yes, I'll know. I think I got a price on it. Thank you, sir. Of course. <laughs> you selling that fender or did you buy it here? This one? I don't know. You buying? Yep. What do you do me on it? Uh, shit. Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> is it is it worth six hundred bucks? Is it worth what? Six hundred bucks? Might be. Might be. Okay. I'll give you six hundred bucks for it. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it from the new Smyrna Swap. Actually did good today, made a little bit of money, bought and sold a fender, found some small parts, saw some ultra cool motorcycles and got to hang with some 
buddies that we don't get to see so often. So thanks for tuning in. We're gonna get out, ride our motorcycles, and we'll see you at the races.